Hey guys, Brian Perez with Carolina Homes Connections, your local real estate agent serving the Carolinas. I'm actually on a walk this morning with Apollo. That's Apollo right there. And guys, this morning, I'm going to get right to it. Well, this morning for me. I don't know when you're watching this. Morning, good morning, good evening, good night. Guys, my nose is itchy. What's what's cool about doing these videos live that you just, uh, like, it is what it is. Guys, so, the real estate market, the local real estate market, <clears throat> what's going on, our house is selling, as the market slow down, house inventory, what's my house worth, am I better off selling now or waiting a couple months from now? Guys, these are all questions that I get asked every single day. I'm having conversations with potential sellers and buyers every single day. So, today's November 16th, 2023, <clears throat> I'm doing this video. Guys, a couple of weeks ago, I put a house up and uh, we, we priced it right. Sat down with the sellers <clears throat> and went over the comps with them. And you guys, and I want you to understand something. This is why it's so important to always interview and hire a local agent. Because just because the comps say one thing, there may be things in that neighborhood that are desirable that are desirable for whomever is buying your house that where you can price it just a little bit higher a little bit higher and it may it may even appraise the worst thing that can happen is if it doesn't appraise then you go back to the negotiating table so guys we price this home just right and then we're under contract in three days there was another agent in our neighborhood who put a put a house up a couple weeks ago, about two and a half weeks ago, and uh, I believe she priced it just right. Great job, agent! And the house went under contract in like two days, two to three days. And guys, that's what happens when you price your home right. Buyers are still out there, even though rates are going back down they're what like seven and a half percent as of today i haven't checked them this morning but they got up to like eight percent at one time and you know and now and you guys keep in mind that interest rate i used to be a lender for nine years interest rates are not tied to the fed funds rates mortgage interest rates are not tied to the fed funds rate they're more tied to inflation so as inflation goes up, typically you see rates go up because the Fed is trying to tame inflation. And as inflation goes back down, you'll start seeing rates, mortgage interest, interest rates goes back down. So here's what I'm seeing right now. And these are conversations that I'm having with other top agents. So right now buyers, have been somewhat sitting on the sidelines waiting for rates to go back down. Now keep this in mind, guys, and you always hear me say this, the law of supply and demand is always in motion. It is always a given, whether it's real estate, whatever it is, guys, whatever commodity it is, the supply, the law of supply and demand is always in motion. So keep in mind, that although rates are higher than they were last year, inventory is still very tight in a lot of areas, especially here in the York County, South Carolina and Charlotte areas. So what does that mean? That means that sellers have finally come to the, to the reality of, hey, you know what? My house is sitting there. My house is just sitting there, and I wonder why. And guys, there's three reasons why a house sits there. Number one, the location. Number two, the condition. Number three, the price. 
and nine times out of ten it's the price so if their agent is telling them what they need to hear not what they want to hear then you're seeing every time you go on realtor.com you go on Zillow you see price drop why because they want to price they want to drop their price no because their homes are not moving guys they're overpriced so here's what's happening is sellers have finally come to the realization that hey if I'm not priced right my house ain't moving so if you're a buyer right now is the time to buy because guys here's the thing most sellers know they're overpriced so instead of reducing God, look at this guy. Is that beautiful or what? So instead of reducing the price of the house, why not have them give that money to you to buy down your rate and be close to where you want to be in payment? That makes sense because let me tell you what's going to happen. As rates keep dropping and inventory remains tight, guys, let me tell you, sellers are going to gain back their power. They're going to gain back their negotiating power. And if you don't have cash, <clears throat> if you don't have a conventional loan with the big down payment, with the high due diligence fee or termination fee here in South Carolina, then you're not going to have a shot. You're not going to have a shot. Because, guys, let me tell you what's been happening. A lot of buyers have been sitting on the sideline waiting for the next recession. Guys, in my opinion, that recession already happened during the pandemic. Most of us just don't realize it <clears throat> because the government bailed a lot of people out. A lot of businesses, a lot of individuals, they came to the rescue. We live in the greatest country in the world and uh, I'm honored to have served this country. Guys, it's, you know, people are dying to come to America because it's truly the land of the free. So you guys, <clears throat> with that, I just wanna remind you that if you're looking to sell, here's my tips. If you price it too high, it's gonna sit there. If you price it too low, you're leaving money on the table. And that's why you need to hire a local agent that understands what they're doing, that will help you price it just right and will negotiate the best possible terms for you because not every deal on paper is the best deal that will negotiate the best terms for you so at the end of the day you can walk away with the most amount of money in your bank account see you bye